and welcome to the Penguin Tool, the free-to-use Google algorithm and penalty checking tool by Barracuda Digital. My name's Anthony, and Penguin Tool Orientation is the second video in our Penguin series. In this video, I'm going to show you the core functionality of the tool and how to use it. So let's dive in. First of all, we have the data selection fields at the top above the chart. We have date range, start and finish, right there. Toggles for displaying your data on a weekly or daily basis, here. And toggles for displaying your data by device. So either desktop, tablet, mobile, or all, right here. By default, we show you two years of session data displayed on a weekly basis across all devices. After any new selection, make sure you click the Go button to see your changes take effect, right here. Let's look at the algorithm filters next. On the chart, uh, you'll see lots of different colored lines. These mark where Google has made an algorithmic change or added a feature to its search results pages. Below the chart are the different categories of algorithm filter. Check out our fourth video in the Penguin series, Penguin Tool Algo Filters, for more information on each one. For now, I'll just demonstrate that you can deselect and reselect uh, all of the filters together, uh, and then you can reselect individual filters to examine them in greater depth. Once that's done, you can then zoom in on the chart section uh, you're most interested in without changing the date range. Simply click and drag the section you want to examine, and the chart zooms in. Hit the reset button to get back to the original chart view. You can then select any of the filters to find out more about them. In this case, we've selected Penguin 4.0. As you can see in the info box that appears on the right here, we have the approximate date uh, of the update release, some background information, and we've curated various articles from around the web uh, that talk about the update and analyze it in greater depth. A quick point to note, you don't need to be zoomed in to select an algo line. Let's look at the other data lines on the chart. We have Google Organic Sessions in blue and new Google Organic Sessions in orange. You can toggle them on and off using the buttons below the chart like this. The reason we've included new Google Organic Session data is to partially negate the effect of brand traffic. The likelihood is people typing your brand into search already know about you and have already visited your website. We're interested in the effect of Google's algorithm updates on our organic traffic, and brand traffic is unlikely to be affected by algorithm changes. So if we can exclude it, or some of it, then we'll be using more useful data. Finally, we have the search metrics data here on the right. This is the new part of the tool we're particularly excited about. Check out the third video in our Penguin series, Penguin Tools Search Metrics SEO Visibility where we walk you through the process of setting up your search metrics profile so you can see the data for your website. But for now, I'll just show you what it looks like and why it's useful. Once you've set up a search metrics profile by clicking on the geolocation you want to examine and then hitting the get button here, uh, it will then be available for you to select uh, in the drop down above like this. So there's the one we want. Uh, hit the go button once you've made your selection. Uh, and a, another data line appears on the chart, like this. We want you to be able to see the effect of algorithm updates not only on your Google organic traffic, but also on your Google organic rankings. And that's what Search Metrics SEO Visibility does. More specifically, it's an aggregated ranking performance figure for everything a site ranks for in Google, recalculated on a weekly basis, so we can see the trend over time. With search metrics data, you can now give your business or client the benefit of understanding the effect of algorithm updates from both a traffic and a rankings perspective. Thanks very much for using the tool and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.